You know, the NASCAR race will generate nearly $500,000 for local charities and organizations. Nine News reporter Tony Moronis covers our team coverage of NASCAR Week in Kentucky and explains how one local high school depends on this money. Ladies, ready to go to the ready infield? To go, sir. Right. Ready. John Jones drives to raise money. This is the job that you do that's fundraising where I have a list of people asking me to do it. The Gallatin County High School Athletic Director shuttles people around the Kentucky Speedway. The nonprofit groups come here and work, and for their time, we give them checks for their group. Organizations that drive shuttles earn $8 per man hour. A towel to dry me off, and now they're trying to sell me a poncho. Those selling goods earn a 10% commission. It really helps all of our athletics. We've got a lot of sports that don't make a dime. Zero tax dollars goes into the athletic department coffers. They survive on fundraising. Annually, the department spends seven to $12,000 for uniforms. I even think some of these people may be unemployed, and if it wasn't for their group work, they wouldn't be able to provide these things for their kids. Their kids wouldn't be able to participate. There's a lot of kids that can't afford, right. that, that you know, wanna that want to play and are good players. Gets back to the community. The Speedway expects to help bands, teams, clubs, and other organizations by sharing a half million dollars between them. I don't know about the legalities of this here. Jones likes the other benefits. It's a great place to get out and meet people as well and, and, and the community gets to see us working for what we get. While the kids aren't old enough to volunteer at the track, Joan says they make it easy for him to volunteer. Our kids work very hard. Most of our kids play multiple sports. Several of them work jobs and play a sport. Uh, so we're kind of a, a blue collar, hard working community. In Sparta, Tony Moronis, 9 News. And we are live.